Hey everybody, Circle V Farms here. Uh, thank you guys for coming down. Um, hope you guys are having a really good day. And uh, here on the farm, it's not been a bad morning so far. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell by the sky or not. Not really the greatest look there, but it's it's cloudy. And let me tell you, it's uh, it's getting pretty windy. Uh, it's not too mis miserably cold, but it definitely is a chill and uh, it's definitely gonna rain later. So I wanted to do this video now. Um, you know why it wasn't wet and raining and all this stuff but i wanted to do a video for you guys kind of just going through and showing you guys the morning routine the morning chores i guess you can call it of what we do here on the farm so um the first point i want to make to you guys is some of the stuff that are in this video um ain't every morning you know for say um you know for example um this morning, I, I moved the bucks into the into a buck pen, got them away from the does, and you know they're done for the year. Um, that's something that I don't do every morning. You know that that's just a specific um, example for this morning. So um, some of this stuff is going to be every morning. Some of this stuff is going to be every now and then. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys like the video, and if you do like it, like the video, subscribe and leave me a comment uh you know about every week we get a couple more people subscribing so you know let's keep it like that um and i hope you guys are enjoying the content but anyway guys but i couldn't get it on video because it was too dang difficult but uh went ahead and moved our two bucks um here in the back moved them into a buck pen uh you guys see this owl right here yeah well it's fake you know y'all know that but it used to be up, upright and now it just kind of dangles it's been there a while i think just thought that was funny but anyway guys but no we went ahead moved our two bucks and yeah there's a doe right there she's the houdini of the farm she was out and um i figured i'd just put her in here right now until i can get the fig fence fixed where she's at um, but these two bucks, they don't they don't really fight, and you know sometimes they fight over like feed if I don't feed them far enough apart. But as far as the does, they um they honestly don't you know they honestly don't fight too bad. You know each each of these bucks have had their go at the girls this year. So um, and both of these bucks, uh, you know I'll dare say it, I think they've both kind of came out of rut. You know we haven't had a doe come in a heat in about a month. And I don't know, it's, they've, they've chilled down, if that makes sense. But they've just calmed down. They're not, you know, if it, if it was a, two months earlier, you know, both these guys would be over here on her, talking to her, messing with her. Um, but see, right now, they're just content. So anyway, uh, moved them back here. Um, if I can get it. Moved them back here into this pen. Uh, they got this shed here. For shelter and uh, and we got them back here now I want to talk a little bit about why I choose to separate my bucks out um, rule number one is I don't want kit well if you guys could see me huh. beginner YouTube right um, I don't want my does having kids all year round now it doesn't sound like such a bad thing but I am breeding for show goats, and show goats have to be born at a certain amount of time during the year. So um, to help control that, I keep I take them out. That way, if a doe does, if a doe has her kids, and then a couple weeks later comes back in the heat, the buck ain't there, and she can just go through that, and uh, she won't get pregnant again. Um, that way, I'm not having unexpected um, kids. Um, but also i separate these bucks out now like i said about a about a month ago these girls i mean the girls stopped coming in the heat because they, they've all got bread so um so technically i could have moved them out then but i didn't because i do want these bucks to have company you know um so i left them in there an extra month but now we're starting to get to that point where we're we're two to three months away from kids or some of these does are halfway through their gestation um, um it's just for me 
it's where the diet really comes into play. Um, you know, them does are going to be on a different diet than these bucks. You know, them does are providing for multiple kids, and then both these bucks need to grow. So, you know, I might be using different feeds. I might be using different amounts, and uh, and I just want to make sure that the bucks can get what the bucks need and the does can get what the does need, and I don't got to worry about, or well, are the bucks getting enough or are the does getting enough. So that's probably the main reason. Probably the main reason. I'll come back here and show you guys this. We got a construction thing going on, so ignore that dirt and stuff back there. But uh, that's probably the main reason we do this, just to help you know even out the dieting. But and like you, you know, like I said, both these guys are young bucks. This guy's eight months old. That guy's that guy's almost a year old. So um, so they definitely are gonna need to grow, and also um, and also. You know, they just need their basic nutrition needs. But anyway, guys, so that's what I did first off this morning. Went ahead and moved these guys back here again. Tried to get it on video. Wouldn't really work for me. So uh, I just went ahead and I decided I'd show you guys this. But we, I fed them too. I forgot about that. So anyway, guys. Anyway, that's, that's tour number one for the day got them moved well, let's move on to the next okay guys so next on the list is we're going to go feed the goats and let the sheep out to eat um i don't i don't feed i don't feed the sheep um i don't feed the sheep anything um as of right now because they can do pretty well on grass they do pretty well on grass so um Right now, especially early into the fall, I'm just going to go ahead and let them chow on grass for the next couple weeks. So we're going to go let the sheep out. And then we're going to feed the goats. I got some cracked, cracked corn for them this morning. Um, uh, corn, uh, the reason I, hold on, I'm just trying to figure out where some of the feed pans are okay there they are they scooted them over there anyway uh, the reason I feed a lot of corn when it gets cooler is um I had an old timer tell me one time corn helps animals um kind of generate body heat so um when it gets kind of cold like this every couple days I feed them some corn and I've had animals in the past um have trouble with the whole corn kind of like eating it down too fast and not choking but you can tell they got to sit there and you know catch their breath and let that corn go down so i i just feed cracked corn um i just feed cracked corn um that way i don't got to worry about anything choking but also um kind of helps with their body heat so i'm not a scientist i'm not going to say that that's scientifically proven or true but i've had a lot of people tell me that it works so um when it starts getting kind of cooler, um, I do. I start feeding cracked corn every couple of days. But anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead. And uh, before we actually feed him, I need to do a couple things. We need to move the horse out of here because I don't want him eating this corn. I'll let him out. I'll tie him out. Um, that's what we do. We pick spots um, on the property that need to be eaten down or eaten, whatever you call that. And we'll actually put the horse on it, and we'll let him chew that down. And then I need to get the little lamb and the mom. I'm going to go ahead and separate them out, and I'm going to feed her because she's milking. So I'm going to go ahead and feed her. But um, when I get that guys, when I get that done, I'll see you guys then. Well, hey everybody, I'm back. So I got our horse right here. His name's JD. Uh, stands for John Denver. He's my sister's horse, but when I go to feed, I normally move him because uh, I don't want him eating all my feed. So I'm just taking him down to a spot down here by this tree line we got. And uh, not a lot of animals come down here and eat. So there's uh, plenty of grass for him to chew on. Um, so we're gonna take him out here, time out. So anyway, he's not on the channel much. But yeah, he's old. He's honestly, I wouldn't give him but a couple more years. But anyway, guys, 
that's John if any if any of y'all were wondering okay picked him a nice spot here uh, again as you can see right here's cut for hay right here's cut for hay but he don't cut this right here because the, the corner of our property is right there there's a fence and there's a fence so this don't get this don't get eat this no this don't get ate by nothing and it don't get cut for hay so anyway guys uh, this is what we typically do with our horse as you can see I have him tied up right there and uh, he goes through as far as he can reach and he'll chew on what he can find so anyway guys I don't really have much to know about this horse but just for anybody that was curious and the other videos of why we had a horse and uh, this is how we take care of him right here were there well there they are guys uh, wasn't able to get me opening the gate on them because I had some goats I wanted to get out to and I had to stop them but anyway guys uh, yeah th this is this is the sheep's diet right here you know they don't get they don't get much grain during during the spring the summer and the fall so right here this is how I feed these guys so that's uh this is something that is done every morning this right here just letting them out letting them chew on some of this grass and uh, saves me a ton of feed and and hay and all this stuff so anyway here's the little lamb guys i know i haven't done an update video i know i haven't really told anything told you anything about her much but she's a weak hoed today and she's as lively as ever as y'all can see as she just runs around this pasture but anyway guys so this is something that's done every morning up there is the pen we got a down limb right there but up there's the pen open up that gate and they just come out here running so anyway guys there's that Okay, guys, so y'all just saw me feed um, them guys. Um, I didn't think trying to feed them while holding the stick was probably going to work out because they tend to be pretty rowdy. But anyway, guys, one last thing um, that we that I do. Well, for one, unplug the light in the barn. There we go. But no, one last thing I do, and it's, it's likely to get pretty dark in here, guys. Uh, maybe not. Light sh shining through. Um, one last thing that I like to do is um, I have this mineral block here, and I put it up here in a stall so when the horse is in here, he can't get it. But the horse is not in right now, and... Uh, so I'm going to move, I, I do this every morning, I'm going to move this mineral block back out there. And whenever I put that horse up later today, I'll move this back in here. Uh, the, in, the entryway to this stall right here, um, it's not big enough for the horse to get to. So uh, 
I can put it in here, but when he's not in here, I always will just put it out there for him, and uh, and they can uh, go to looking on that. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and not videotape me moving this because it's heavy, it's low to the ground, and it would have been good footage anyway. So there you have it, guys. We got this doe right here. She's already come to the block. Um, now again, they can always get to it up and up there in the barn. Um, they can always get to it, but I don't know. I just some it's more convenient out here, I guess. And some of them might not even know how to get in there. I I don't even know. But anyway, guys. Um, so minerals out. Fed some cracked cracked corn this morning. Um, everyone should be doing good. On top of hay, um, this is these girls' daily diet. I will let them out every couple of days and graze, but uh, it's not, you know, not too often. But anyway, guys. So, uh, and these chickens, I have yet to talk about these chickens on the channel at all. We got no joke, or like thirty chickens, and they're all free range. So, um, um. We, uh, they just kind of run, the, they kind of roam the property. You know, they pick up scraps. He's doing that right now. They pick up scraps. They eat grass, eat bugs. Um, we let them completely free range. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Temper's flying over there. Um, don't get me wrong. I mean, if I will dump them some corn, we do have chicken feed that we'll go throw out, you know, into the yard and, and let them pick at that. So we don't necessarily just neglect these guys but they are free range you know we let them do their own thing um now we do have this we do have this chicken pen right here and the winds actually close the door but it mainly stays open and they can get up inside there and uh get out of the wind or anything if they want to but honestly guys they just pick a tree or something but anyway so that's about the chickens so anyway guys um this is going to do it for this video um, I actually picked, I mean, you know, a normal, normal morning. Um, like I said, some mornings, um, you know, some mornings, you know, are real busy. Um, and then some, some are just kind of like this, kind of just average mornings, kind of doing stuff like that. But anyway, um, hope it gave you a little bit of insight on how we do things here at the farm. Um, that's the point of this, um that's kind of the point of this whole channel it's just to let people know how we do things and uh and then hopefully be informative and also just have fun but anyway guys so hope you guys have a good day thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time